minus. I'm sure it's not that noticeable. Oh! What is going on guys? It is Wholesome Bot back again with another video. Today we're going to be going over a Madara Su for our A to Z series. Now before I start, let me just put it in there that a Madara Su is one of my favorite gods in the game. As my favorite class is the Warrior class. Now, a Madara Su, as far as duels go, I'm going to say she ranks very well against most of her competition. A Madara Su is actually extremely good for boxing. On top of that, paired with the fact that her 3 is going to give her damage mitigations and it works as amazing clear, it definitely has no like negative things that are going to come attributed with maxing out this ability first. Definitely, if you were to ask me, I recommend maxing out that to 110% of the time. Every single time you get into a duel, you might as well just auto-upgrade it. Auto-upgrade? Is that a thing? Yeah, that is a thing. If you're one of those weirdos that does it, go ahead and auto-upgrade the two if you're going to be playing duels with a moderate Su, as that is her absolute bread and butter. Now, typically, I'm going to upgrade my two, and after my two, I'm going to go directly into the three, which is a dash that disarms and does damage, covers a lot of distance as well. Now, all of these abilities paired with the fact that she has an ult that gives her CC immunity for about, like, four seconds... It means that you don't even need to buy beads on her. You can just ult trade, honestly, in most scenarios. And her ult does extreme damage to everybody you hit with it. So that means a lot of people aren't going to be able to box her. And on top of the fact, one very good thing about Amadara Su's ult is going to be her ability to dance around her opponent. Staying just out of range of hit ability. Space spacing question mark just out of ability hitting range so you'll be pretty good boxing your opponent when using this nine times out of ten because of her burst movement speed because she's going to swing when she lands and then move very rapidly to her next position it makes it actually throws a lot of enemies off and makes it to where they won't be able to hit you now on top of that what you're going to be getting is another power boost with your one once you've upgraded that and increased movement speed, which means in game you are not outrunning a Madara Su. She's going to get way more movement speed than you. It's something like 20% extra movement speed, and that is going to be permanent as long as she's within her winged blade stand. Now, what this means is like basically get wrecked. Like, don't box a Madara Su. Don't fight her. If you get in a match with a Madara Su, I mean. If you're good at the game, you have nothing to worry about because she's pretty counterable, kind of. Like, really? But if you're not that good at the game, you might want to just F6. Now, with Amadara Su's kit, you're going to be getting some sustain with her one, especially in-game. If you pair her one with a Health Chalice and an Elixir, even early game, it's going to give you a lot of HP 5 back, and you're going to be very hard to kill. Um, you're even going to be able to compete like competitively with a chop. Yeah, it's honestly going to be a very bad day for your opponent. Definitely just keep applying that pressure with Amadara Su. Amadara Su is a guy that is going to capitalize when it comes to the box. She builds up damage mitigations as she has her mirror out, giving her increased durability throughout the fight. And it does do hella burst damage when it launches. So no one really wants to fight you in that stance. Now, if you combo it with like a pretty good like interaction with the fight what i like to do when i play a mother suit is i'm gonna close distance initially without using my three right because most characters once you go in for the attack they're gonna dodge away especially no one's gonna try to box a mother suit head on unless you're like Bologna or just a god that has you know something that turns the fight incredibly in their favor right but most gods are not going to try to box her out right so most of them once they begin losing they're going to try to dash which is where your two or not your two fuck your three comes in when your three comes in you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna dodge you're gonna dodge right towards them you're gonna close that distance and if they're still just out of distance you can even ult for it to guarantee the kill now what i will say is do not do what i just did right there because as you guys saw i did open up with my dash which is why I was not able to chase her effectively into the tower. And it did eventually end in my demise, sadly. However, this time I was able to chase her into the tower without even having to use my dash to get her 
and then I was able to use my dash to get out. That's what I'm saying. It's definitely going to be in your best, like, ambition, benefit. I don't know what the right word is. You guys can let me know. But anyway, it's going to be in your best interest. Ah, oh, that's the right word. It's going to be in your best interest to save that dash for when you need it. Do not open up with the dash. If anything, use your one to get the region and the additional movement speed while moving into the fight. And just... Open up your two, actually, because as you take damage, it'll fill up the mitigation meter for your window and the damage meter for your window. I mean, mirror, not a window. It's going to fill that up, and then you'll start off the fight ready to launch it, so it's in your disposal to launch whenever you need it. On top of that, one thing you guys should duly know is when you're using your ult, you actually can't have your mirror charging throughout the duration. Meaning, if you aim it right, you can shoot the mirror and hit them with your ults at the exact same time. Doing some pretty good burst damage, honestly. See right there, if she didn't have blink, I would have been able to chase. But this is like what I mean. One of the most important things is for Modern 2 is going to be saving that dash for the chase. Other than that, Modern 2 is going to be pretty strong. Very hard character to beat. Um, honestly, if you're trying to go, like if you're a new player and you're just trying to get to silver or like gold, I definitely recommend playing a Modern 2. Get good with her. She's going to be very good. Not a lot of people ban her, so you'll be able to get her through a lot. If you get good with her... And you get her through a lot of the bands, you'll be pretty well off. You'll be able to come up a little bit in MMR. And definitely, like, I do recommend playing with her. She's very fun to play, etc., etc. The list goes on. However, what I will say is for a higher level, like higher, she still does do very good competitively for like GM and Masters level fights. However, it's going to be kind of difficult with a lot of the GMs they know about. The strategy you're gonna be using, they're gonna capitalize on it. Which means you need to play. Uh, excuse me. You need to play just that much harder, you know. So definitely do keep that in the back of your minds. Now, also, I didn't really go over what to build on a modder suit because it's gonna be your basic, like a uh, boxer warrior build. That's gonna be mannequins is a must. You're gonna want to have stone cutting. I didn't run stone cutting this walkthrough, but stone cutting is very good, especially if you're going against a physical god. That's why I didn't run stone cutting if you haven't paid attention. Stone cutting is great against physical gods, not that good against mages. Generally, want to run mannequins, stone cutting, frostbound, itchable, protections as your second item. Just, you know, the basic stuff. Now, obviously, later on in the future, I will go over, like, the base builds and how you want to build your gods in duel. But for right now, we're just going over the A to Z, so I'm not going to go too in-depth on that. But hopefully, I definitely did shine some light on a modder suit and hope you guys get a little bit of insight. If you're looking forward to playing her, maybe you just want to hear me talk because you're weird. I don't know. But anyway, hopefully, you guys did enjoy the video. If you did consider dropping a like consider dropping a subscription consider hitting that little bell button so you know whenever i upload but without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and head to the gym so hopefully you guys have a good day stay positive stay motivated and peace out